Hey guys, this Mark 91 here. So we're back for more GTA 5, and let's lose these fucking cops. Franklin's got one. He's in almost in a good position. Yeah, this isn't the first time we've done this. Okay. Well, fuck, we got some ground to catch up. And I know we can do this. Come on. What the? Oh, fuck. Damn. I tried to lose him. Hell, I tried to kill him first, <laughs> and then lose him. God damn, we gotta try that again. Yeah, it happens. Ah, oh, man. Oh, that's... So this butt wasn't here before. Man, you brought the cops right to us, dog. Maybe you should have done a boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on this shit. Come on, boss. Get him off us. Man, you better deal with the Nice. I guess this is why they want us to do the other way. Can't switch back. You're meant to be protecting us, not wrecking us. Mr. Clinton, where are you? We're coming up to GOAs. Man, the cops was all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Procopio it is! Yep. Huh. 
That's like kind of badass having just randomly jack uh, drop jacks. That shit will bust tires. It wouldn't be hard to get that set up in a real car too. It'd be an interesting modification. Definitely one you wouldn't want to take across the border if you were smuggling something, because obviously they scan every vehicle. Come on. Ah, we still can't switch. Hurry up, man. I know you can go faster than this. Woohoo! I want to gun a little bit, get a decent amount, then just kind of pull off this side and let him pass, and then get right back behind him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. Well, fuck. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Well, that's the point where, I, honestly, I would have pulled that gun. It's like, okay, you guys are dead. Okay, so now what? I mean, we're nowhere near anything. I guess let's see if we can Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dog. Huh. Um, let's see, his phone is offline, his credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now, nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Okay, I guess we're going to the aunt's crib. Which is all the fucking way down here. Well, fuck. We'll get there soon. Damn, it would be nice to keep some of those rides, but whatever. Uh, well, guys, I'm pretty much going to say you can skip to the next one because probably nothing's going to happen until then. It's not all help. I mean, I could have called the cab, which actually probably wasn't smart, but at the same time, we got a long distance to go. Alright, we'll be there in like two, three minutes, I guess. Seeing as I'm just gonna straight up gun it and hope for the best. Huh. Man, that's to be expected. 
that was some bullshit though. It's like, dude, can you how can they pay us? What the fuck's your problem? Because we're just gonna end up killing it. I honestly, it's like, dude, this supposed to be like a really good paycheck. Wait. Yes, I do. Okay, so maybe if you guys didn't skip it, maybe we got something interesting. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hill by the sign? Okay. Thanks. This is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. I ain't too sure how to take that right there. Well, just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been hurting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay, and uh, what's on top of Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise a big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money, or I would have gotten a cab. Yeah, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's. It's Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look. Whoa. Look. Would you tell him? Hey, are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. Wait a minute, what? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy, not called Brian, man. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. Man, it sounds like it could have gone a little bit better than that. He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious... Responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind. Discovering... Discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. Yeah, we you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, pitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian, right? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I, I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Damn. Yes, there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk! What the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? <laughs> Dude, you attack me, I'm gonna kick the crap out of you. I'll kill Hey, you lame. Oh my god, he's got a gun! Yeah. 
Get back here, you little bitch. You attack me. I'm gonna kill you. Yep. <laughs> I think he's dead now. Well, that kind of worked out. Not the way I planned it, but whatever. I mean, okay, really, though. Who could plan on picking up a random hitchhiker? Random ass dog. And she just ran for her life. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call an episode here. And yeah, guys, uh, next time, we'll go meet up at Franklin's aunt's place and try to figure out what the hell's going on with Michael. Okay, guys, peace.